Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to incorporate orthogonal effects into your static seismic load cases that are generated according to the ASCE 716 in RAM frame. So let's go ahead and turn our attention to our sample building structure that we'll be using in this video. Now, as you can see, this particular building structure has a non-parallel system irregularity where the vertical lateral force resisting system elements are not parallel to the major orthogonal axes of the seismic force resisting system. That being said, digging a little further into the code requirements, I would be required to incorporate my orthogonal effects into the seismic load cases for this particular building structure. When you incorporate orthogonal effects into your seismic load cases, what we'll be doing is asking RAM frame to include 100% of your seismic load acting in one orthogonal direction while simultaneously applying 30% of your seismic load in the other orthogonal direction. So let's go ahead and get started. Now when you're ready to generate your static seismic load cases, you can go up to your loads menu option and then select load cases. Here we're going to select the seismic radio button and then select the appropriate load case. Here I'm going to select the ASE 716 equivalent lateral force procedure. Lastly, I'm going to go ahead and label my seismic load cases and click the add button. Now while within the ASCE 716 seismic equivalent lateral force dialog, I'm going to enter in all of the appropriate code parameters. I'm going to ask the program to generate seismic loads in the X and Y direction. Currently, I'm asking the program to consider both positive and negative effects of eccentricity. And then I'm going to enter in the other parameters, such as my response modification factor, my SDS and SD1 parameters, as well as information to calculate the structure period. Now, Leaving this as is, the program will go ahead and generate four seismic load cases. Those would be your seismic load cases in both the X and Y directions, considering positive and negative eccentricity. But I want some additional load cases. I want to consider orthogonal effects. To consider orthogonal effects, you simply just need to select this checkbox. I'm gonna select this checkbox, click OK, and then I'm going to see the additional load cases that are generated. Now it should be noted that this is going to generate a significant number of additional load cases because we are considering seismic load in two different directions at the same time. Now for each load case, I can review the type. Here I can see that this is seismic load in the X direction with positive eccentricity, along with 30% of the seismic load in the Y direction, also with positive eccentricity. Now, after reviewing your seismic load cases that were generated, go ahead and click OK. Now, after you generate your seismic load cases, you are able to go ahead and perform an analysis and review the results either on screen or in your loads and applied forces report. To access the loads and applied forces report, go to your reports menu select loads and applied forces. From this report, I could review my seismic load cases with orthogonal effects, and I can go ahead and review the loads that were applied in each direction. I'll have my first four base seismic load cases first, followed by my orthogonal effects load cases. And here I can see that load has been applied in both the global X and the global Y directions, and the program has also provided me with the location of that force. At this point, this concludes our process for incorporating your orthogonal effects into your static seismic load cases that are generated in accordance with the requirements of the ASCE 716. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. 
If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.